I don't even have enough words to describe it. It's the greatest job I could ever have. I mean, for myself to be able to wake up in the morning, walk over here and have a cup of coffee and look at that view before I start my day is, you know, you can't put a price on that. For Tony Soteriano, owning one of the few operating grist mills in the country means more than a unique business. The local connection he helps foster is everything. Consumers want not just products, they want experiences. And so whether they're buying uh, 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 flour products or pancake mixes that were milled somewhere locally, whether they're buying sausage or meat products, anytime we can uh, sell some sizzle, if you will, instead of just the steak, uh, con consumers like that. Visitors making their way to Clifton Mill are immediately drawn to the charming restaurant that sits on the edge of Clifton Gorge. Monster-sized pancakes are made from the flour ground on the mill just a few feet away. The sausage hails from a local butcher, and buffalo is also a local favorite. There has never been a day out of 16 years that I've ever dreaded coming to work. Every year, there's several different families that'll come to me and they'll tell me, oh, I started coming out here when I was a kid, and now I'm bringing my grandkids out here. So it just reminds me every day of how important it is to keep something this historic still going. Besides the lure of the restaurant, the beautiful view of the mill from the covered bridge, there is even a miniature village created to take you back to childhood memories. And not far from the mini town is a room filled with 3,600 Santas who come in all shapes and sizes. But that is definitely not all. People are coming from every part of the country for another reason. The mill's always been a center point of any town, um, especially in the agricultural community, and we like to just keep that tradition alive. One way of keeping that tradition alive is by drawing attention to their 210-year-old mill. And how do they do that? They do it like this. Every night I get to smile and meet people who say, hey, we've been coming here for years and now our kids are here and our grandkids are here, and, you know, and you're part of our scrapbook and you're part of this and you're part of that. And it's just amazing to know that you're a part of all that with all these different families. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Santa! Reporting from Clifton, Ohio, I'm Joe Camoriano for Ag Day.